Hi there, my name is Christian and today I'm going to tie a little foam fly. Foam, uh, foam fly season is uh, upon us and uh, this is one nice one to have in the box. Uh, made a few already uh, in different sizes but uh, I needed some smaller ones. Uh, so I'm going to show you how, it's not very very hard. The materials for this little bugger is uh, is um, some semi seal. I'm gonna use the red one, the one of my favorites actually, the UV slow burn flame. It's a really nice one. Not that it matters so much on this one, but it's just a nice, uh, nice stopping. The hook, of course, is the Eric uh, NS122 light stinger in size A this time. And uh, this is yellow stick on uh, flat eyes. Uh, yeah, this is four millimeter. Some uh, black rubber legs. And uh, some uh, thread, black thread. This uh, this is GSP, um, and some super glue. And uh, these ones, these are actually quite nice. This is a foam beetle bottle in this size small, black and red. They come in uh, all kinds of. I can show you all kinds of uh, sizes: uh, yellow, black, uh, pink, green. In different sizes as well. The, uh, these are pre-made. Instead of um, doing them the, your own, on your own, you can do. You can buy these. These uh, beaver tail uh, foam cutters. They work as well. Then you have to cut it your own. Uh, cut your own um, foam bodies and glue them together. These are quite expensive actually. But uh, if you want to go the easy way, just get these from Flyco. Really nice. Makes it young, up young, uh, real fast. And get going. Um, that's about it. Let's tie it. Okay, here we go. I put on my 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 hook, my NS and one of them's going to light stinger in size eight, and the GSP thread, and put on some layer of um, of thread. And first off, I'm gonna. Take my take my UV burn flame semi seal dubbing just to cover the the hook, uh, and that's just uh, to make sure it doesn't just a thin layer. Um, the foam doesn't um, scoot around too much on the hook. So it helps uh, stay on top of the hook shank as I want to, like this. And just swing it a bit. And then I'm gonna take the, the foam bodies, these ones, and put here. I'm just gonna take any one. So easy with the, with the pre-cut ones, makes it a lot easier. And a loose wrap, two. And I'm gonna take a little bit of, of, of dubbing again on my thread. And this is just because the uh, it helps me to tighten it uh, more, and it's also because the GSP thread is you can cut through the through the foam body. So with a little bit of, of dubbing uh, on your on your thread, it's uh, it easier. It's easier. Then it's time for the um, for the rubber legs. These are quite doable actually, and this was. Black, and I've cut uh, three uh, of this, four of the same length. I'm just gonna tie them on like this. This one and another one.
like this and make sure to tighten it and that's uh, the leg secured we could just uh, finish here and but i'm gonna cheat a bit and just go forward here to the other place i wanna put in another set of legs it's up here it was just two learned loose turns last year when i was fishing in the, in the river i used uh, size eight i uh, size six light stinger foam foam on the beetles and i had several times uh, sea trout going for the fly but not taking it just Going back in their hide hideout. So this year I'm gonna go uh, a little tomorrow. The foam beetles. So see if that has any effect. Or at least I have something to choose on my, choose from in my box. Not just size uh, size six flies, but also size eight. Don't know if the color matters that much to be honest. I use red, orange, and yellow. I haven't quite started with the foam beetles yet, it can't be too long before I get started as well. It's good fun. That was the four legs um, secured. I'm gonna go forward and just up here take my whip finish. I'm gonna cut the legs. Here, the legs. I'm gonna gonna cut them the front one a little bit shorter. Then the back one. Then I'm gonna flip it over. And then I'm gonna take my my um, super glue and just drop off this. On my thread to help it uh, help secure it and then there's uh, the eyes this is a religion actually if you need eyes or not I'm, I'm thinking it can't hurt I'm gonna, I'm gonna take an, an eye in a different color than the than the foam is so I'm gonna apply a drop of this Super glue to make it stick where I want it to. It's just so nice when the when the trout comes up and, and takes the foam beetle. It scares the shit out of me every time. But uh, good fun. Oh. Come on. Just Jam it in there. Like this. And could also just take a drop of UV resin on top here to secure it even more. Didn't mention mention that in the intro. I forgot, but you could just use your your super glue. And that's it. That was fast. Try a bunch of these in different colors, and uh, you could try them out. I will see you next time. And please leave a comment and a like maybe and uh, subscribe for more content on my channel and wish you a nice uh, summer of fishing. Bye bye.